This video is created by Jagrat Creation. I want to solve one basic sum for a chapter single entry capital comparison method. I want to find out the profit by taking one basic sum wherein capital at the beginning of the accounting period and capital at the end of the accounting period will be compared and the profit shall be found out. Just observe the sum that I intend to solve here before you. This is the sum that I want to solve. Sri Fernandes keeps his accounts as per single entity system. From the following information find out the profit or loss by capital comparison method. This is the details given to you about assets and liabilities at the beginning of the accounting period. This is the assets and liabilities details are given to you for the end of the accounting period. This is the information given to you about the drawings and additional capital brought. Taking into consideration these aspects we are required to find out the profit. Notice that we are not given here cash transaction, credit transaction details of bank transaction, expenses, income, sales, purchases, all these details are not available and even then we are required to find out the profit. For the purpose of finding out the profit, by this method that is also known as net worth method. I'll find out the capital means difference between total value of assets minus total owings, identifying that as a capital. By preparing opening statement of affairs which is a statement, I like to balance it. Same way, a statement I like to balance it will be prepared for the end of the accounting period. And on the basis of that statement of affairs, closing capital will be found out. Opening capital and closing capital will be compared, taking into consideration the details of drawings and additional capital brought, we shall find out the profit. Now let me prepare, first of all, opening statement of affairs. This is the information given to me. I take into consideration start with land and building that appears on the asset side. Machinery, being asset, appears on the asset side. Furniture, asset side. Stock. Asset under ownership, I write on the asset side, cash and bank balance. Bank overdraft being liability, I am obliged to pay to the bank that is known as bank overdraft liability. Debtors, asset side, right to receive money from customers. Creditors, obligation to pay the suppliers, liability. Bills receivable, return promises held on hand for collecting the money from customers. That is bills receivable asset side. Return promises given to the suppliers bills payable. Now provident fund liability towards employees. Advances right to receive money asset side. Loan taken liability side. Investment asset side. Patent asset side. So these are the total of assets minus liabilities. I will get the capital at the beginning of the accounting period that is excess of assets value over the liabilities. Now I want to prepare a closing statement of affairs from this information. Land and building asset side, machinery, furniture, then stock, cash and bank bands also I will write on the asset side. Then creditors obligation to pay the supply, I am sorry, bank quota of obligation towards bank. Right to receive money from customers known as debtors. Obligation to pay suppliers known as creditors. Right to receive money at the instance of promises of customers held on hand bills receivable. Obligation to pay money, return obligations given to the suppliers for payment of money in future bills payable. Then advances, then Provident fund liabilities towards employees. Advances asset side. Then comes loan taken liability side. Investment assets and patents asset side. Now, during the year he has brought a personal Luna moped. But 2000 in the business. This is an additional capital as well as it will appear on the asset side. So this is a very important consideration if the owner has brought any asset. 
or if any assets are purchased during the year and not taken into consideration while preparing the closing value of assets that should be considered while preparing the closing statement of apex now i want to find out the capital total of assets minus total of liabilities this is the closing capital 51400 now i'll prepare capital comparison statement taking into consideration this closing capital and opening capital and details of drawings and additional capital so here i prepare the capital comparison statement what is the formula for preparing capital comparison statement opening capital plus additional capital minus drawings means capital withdrawn plus profit is equal to closing capital this is a normal formula so opening capital plus additional capital minus drawings plus profit is equal to closing capital i want to make this profit as a subject of equation so profit is equal to closing capital transfer drawings to the opposite sides so of plus drawings opening and additional capital also transfer to the opposite sides so of minus so in this statement i write closing capital first of all add drawings minus additional and opening capital now let me start this is the additional capital brought by way of moped this is the closing capital he has withdrawn 1500 in cash so cash withdrawal goods of 500 are being withdrawn personal expense paid lic premium personal expense income tax paid 150 so these are the various ways by which the amount is withdrawn by the owner drawings are added opening capital and additional capital are to be deducted 37000 so this is the profit for the accounting period ended on 31st 2017 so this is how the profit for the end of the accounting period means profit for 1617 is being found out now this is a very simple sum just applied capital comparison method without taking into consideration any cash or credit transactions i think that you have followed this sum thanks to all of you